Slop, 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 she goes in. <laughs> no, I guess I should actually hit the button to transition the screen instead of oh. just having the intro with us talking. Oh. <clears throat> Twitch. Twitch screen. I support Ugh. you transitioning, John. Twitch screen back. Mm, I did. Yeah, I remember when I got wrist surgery and you were yelling it down the hallway. You're so brave. I You're did. so brave. I did do that. <laughs> Nurse but he wasn't like, brave. Nurse is like, I thought he was chunky. Oh, never mind. Who? Oh. For whatever reason. Oh, the camera's got messed up because of the. Do I need to move? No, it's not you. It's the stupid Twitch layout. Grumble, grumble. Wine thing looks so happy before I open oh, the cork. They're all pictures of me. Isn't I guess wonderful. Figure out where Steve is. There's Steve. Where's Steve? Where's where? Steve? Here's Steve. Ugh. Steve? Where's, uh. where's Steve? Oh, Steve. Uh. Where's Steve? Ugh. Steve Strong, put cork. One hand. Ugh. Wine smell bad. <laughs> bad smell wine. like spoiled grape. Mm. Coffee, good. Coffee. Coffee. Steve. 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 Hello, Grassle Daz. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Grassle, you're supposed to be out having fun with your friends. We are her facts. friends. Yee. That's the person like who gives us draft facts, there. right? Uh, Carfax, yes. <laughs> yes, Car the Car Carfox. Fox. They're the Carfox. <clears throat> sure. Scar Everybody Fox. can can bring giraffe facts. Anybody. It's like Spider Man. Yeah, but giraffe facts are bullshit. Someone should do a shot for shot remake. So there's no facts about giraffes. Well, but using <sighs> they're really educated guesses. But would you want to get next to a giraffe to really find out? Not me. Not this guy. Steve, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a, a black polo. It's five eleven. On your head. It's a hat. Rebel scum. Mm. It's part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Hey, hey, look at this, Phil. You look, see this? Mm-hmm. That's cool. What about this? It's a character from the Star Wars. Antilles. Antilles. Uh, Antilles. Wedge Antilles. It's fine. Well, there was Captain Antilles and there was Wedge Antilles. But it's fine. Not to be confused with Biggs. True. Used to bullseye yeah, while Biggs. T16 back home. Correct. Wedge. Biggs Darklighter was a completely different character. Yeah. He had deleted scenes. Mm-hmm. Tis I, true. We, we could have kept the deleted scenes deleted if we didn't get that fucking slug in front of the Millennium Falcon in, scene. In four. Man, that was so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, remember good. when he stepped over it and they just yeah, clipped him like, up? Oh, yeah. I remember that. Uh -huh. <laughs> and when they paused the frames to add him Greedo shooting first? Mm-hmm. That was pretty awful. What a terrible decision. In George's defense, time is an illusion. So, <gasps> so are... who really shot first? A rooster illusion. A rooster illusion. <laughs> Oh. High energy here at Botch high, Podcast. High What's because we coffee. just ate pizza? High I'm eating, I'm eating skills and drinking wine. Right before recording. My heart's pumping real slow, guys. Pumping that pudding. But <sighs> if you didn't It's tax notice, season, guys. <laughs> I turned my federal ones in. I have to drive the local ones over. Do you ever have that moment when your uh, nipples are inflamed and they pop off your body by like two inches? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Good. I won't go to the doctor then. Okay. The nipple doctor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your hey, Doc, my nips are big. No, your, his tits are jacked. Yeah. Do you with my nips? It's called a mammologist. My Steve. Mama, my Studying mama was. Memes. Ma Mom, my nipples! <laughs> Get the cream! Mom, the cream! It's horse paste. <laughs> Mom, get the horse paste! This isn't Freedom Valley, Mom! You can tell the difference! <laughs> we had a deal! This is a pony! Uh, we had somebody else buy a dick blood domain. Nice. Oh, God. Dick We're gonna have a monopoly on dick blood. Dickblood.club. Club. Nice. Yeah, yeah sweet. <laughs> It sounds like a place you would go to in Germany. Yeah. On a hot Berlin let's, night. Let's go to Dick Blood. Dick Blood. The Dick Blood Club. Dick Blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, it's the biggest one. <laughs> it's a real gusher. It's like where Mike Myers' character from that Sprocket uh, sketch would go. He'd yes. go to dick blood. No way does we dance. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All I want to do is dance. Nice. Uh, Spanked my monkeys. We no, that was last episode. Yeah, let's do if, squ recap. if squirrels really purr, I will murder every squirrel I see from now they don't on. Purr, they go. Hey! Yeah. They do. Literally, the Kettys for once for the sh shrieking. Hey! The shrieking squirrels. We had three that lived outside of Tristan and I's house. Previously on. Merged. Well, I. Did pretty well the dot com boom of the nineties because I had tried to invest in Miralax, but my broker didn't hear me good and he got Microsoft. So I was riding that sky high for quite a while, but what goes up must come down. And I lost a lot of capital on failed business ventures based on my own interests, such as pre macerated macaroni and cheese noodle bars. The baby bird. <laughs> coast to coast, baby. <laughs> An all-in-one nutrient shake based on ve based on vegan cottage cheese substitute. <laughs> the only thing I could really <laughs> the only thing I could really do well was tend the weed garden. And uh, after losing it all, I secluded myself and made monthly deliveries to my friend Juan Pablo in Sacramento, where uh, after. A few years, I just kind of went into the woods because my libido was real low because I guess I was getting old. And uh, one time I found solace in a message board where I found out I need to stockpile silver. So that's what's in this helicopter. It's full of silver? Full of silver to, so we can rescue the kids on the co Mars colony being held hostage <laughs> by the global elites. Yeah, that's what happened last time. Welcome back, listeners, to the 38th episode of our sixth season. Thanks so much for tuning in again. We are going to start pretty much right where we left off last time, as the crew has just left Munkatown in a helicopter. The crew being Kevin, Earl, and River. Charlie stayed behind. And as you'll notice, Jenna is not with us today, as she is feeling under the weather. So, yeah. No, it's because her character's not in the story right now. Sure, also her character's gone. <laughs> and we're going to do a, have a little side party. Yeah, we, we haven't progressed the plot enough to meet her new character yet. <laughs> it was a, it was a, you could have just have said to, we haven't progressed the plot enough. Yeah. We have to earn End that. sentence. Okay. It was a narrative decision. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, River, are you going to hold the gun on him at the whole time, or...? Oh, no, I mean, you know, it's just, it's, I don't want it sticking out of the helicopter, so I have to have it sideways directly at him. Uh, well, River, I would appreciate if you would uh, practice, you know, some finger, finger trigger policies uh, and uh -huh. just, you know, take it off. I'm dexing that gun out of his hand. <laughs> okay. He's got All a right, shoulder count, strap. Counter dex. Maybe. 19. Fucking. All right. <laughs> Meat skeets. You got it. Meat skeets? <laughs> Meat skeets. <laughs> so, yeah, you definitely whip around real fast. And, and uh, I'm going to take the clip out and take the one out of the chamber. Okay. What type of gun is it? Is it a uh, it's an AK. Oh, yeah, an it's AK. an AK. Okay. Yeah. Have, do you know how to do that to an AK? It's Mr. not like an M16. <laughs> Philip does. Yeah, you do, but your guidance counselor probably. Either of them ever took this AK. Roll intelligence. Eighteen. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? Uh, one of your school field trips was to a shooting range, and uh, you got to fire off quite a few uh, AK-47 uh, clips. So the I'm Lutheran gonna... Gun Club. Yeah, yeah, the, the Lutheran Gun Club. <laughs> well, they were talking about arming the LCP. Your teachers. Yeah, the LCC. <laughs> LGC, there it is. Sure. Uh, so yeah, I'll take. Uh, I'll I'll do that, and then I'll hand it back to River uh, empty. Oh god damn it! I wish I would have said it. You're gonna give me back back those bullets when the fungoids come. Oh, around, most right? certainly, bud. Bullets are currency in the apocalypse. You know, don't you know, guys? Just like silver and guns. Kev, Kev, Kevin, uh, c come close. I'm not gonna punch you. I swear. 
Uh, I can hear you perfectly fine from Can here, you? Man. In the helicopter? Well, <laughs> yes, because we all have headphones on with... Uh, and I'll, okay. yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> Rumble in okay, the jungle. Well, I'll talk to you when we're not on the radio. Okay, hold on. Um, actually, roll for that to see if we actually have headphones on. Hi. Uh, yes, you all have headphones. I'll talk to you when we're not like... Oh, <laughs> not, 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 you know... Huh? I, I, I just kind of gesture at, uh, <laughs> at Earl. Hmm. I'm flying. Now, You're Kevin, doing a great job, Earl. Kevin, I, I, um, River, I'm Kevin. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh, here I am. Sorry. I, I, I'm Earl. I've, I've got monkey trauma. Um, me too. They River. Enslaved me. I know <laughs> that we, we went through some stuff. For years. Back there. You guys just showed up and quickly <laughs> split. We're out. Let bygones be bygones. You're not a doormat anymore. You're not. All right. Look, I, I, I want to explain two things to you. Guys, the first high, do you? is that for a long, long time, I'm going to try to break the Pavlovian response to wiggle my butt out of fear. And two, <laughs> I read the back of the book of Marcus Aurelius' Meditations. Yes. Yeah, so so I know this. It said don't panic, and you're panicking. No, it said... Stop arguing about what it means to be a good man and be one. So, what are you, Alpha now? Or? <laughs> I'm Sigma, but <laughs> <laughs> we got to get this cure together. I don't know why Charlie kept this information from us for so long, Whoa. but it's important. Okay. Show me, show me, show me. So, what, so is it? what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out Charlie's book with all her notes on it. Sure. And... Uh, we're going to pass it around so that everybody in the party knows exactly what our objective is. And You're going to have the guy fly in the helicopter read the book? Well, you can just read it to him. We, <laughs> just we read can, it to him. I'm going to give it to River <clears throat> so that River can flip through and then sure. uh, River can... Uh, well, I guess I could just read it to everybody since we have headphones on, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I've got a background in holistic medicine. I think basically I'm the most qualified to read this. Oh. Oh, sure. main, oh, he's a, he's his own main character. Uh huh. Yeah. So, um, you share all the information, and it it shows that there are five pieces to the cure, and you guys only have one uh, currently. Who else which is it besides Robert Smith? Yes. The, yep. How many piece band? Don't know how many pieces <laughs> were in the actual cure band, but um, we'll say five. So you know that the, the closest one, based off the items left, are Stanford University, uh, which you guys are actually pretty close to. Also, Phil, play nope. with the play with the, the headphones thing. It's driving me nuts. I don't know what's going on. It's only in one ear right now. Taking us. There we go. Oh, it's gorgeous. How so much better? All, all right. right. All the way to Stanford, which I thought was in Connecticut, but it turns out. <laughs> It's not. Ma uh, MIT, I think, is up Massachusetts. Maybe not even Massachusetts? Yeah, a lot of people think that Sanford is there because it's Ivy League, but it's not. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, you guys are flying west, I assume? Yes. Yeah. Uh, do we, is there, like, an aerial map? An aerial map? No. But your helicopter does have a map in it that you used for drug deliveries. Yes. And a it's, compass, I imagine. Sure. So try to dial it in. Yeah. Do you want me to do some sort of a piloting check? Navigate to Survivor? Oriel? I mean, survival? if you're just trying to follow a map, then I would go with survival. Good Luckily, uh, the helicopter's equipped with a window, and if everybody knows <laughs> yeah. if you get high enough, the world just becomes a map. <laughs> I'll bring oh, it up. Okay. It's true. Uh, it's also dark, because you guys left at night. It's so. a 16. Yeah, it's going to be hard. Um, so yeah, you, you look at, uh, the map and you, you look at your compass and you're like, ah, you know what? I'm pretty sure I'm going in the right direction, That's even though plus. it's dark and you can't see shit. Um, eventually after a, maybe 15, 20 minutes, you go over the remaining, uh, part of the woods that was the, the state forest next to Munkatown. And, uh, you notice that not too far in the distance, it, it looks sort of like a desert area and there are numerous lights to indicate there's some sort of encampment. Ah. And you notice that from the left to the right, there are little scattered villages of encampments. The 
almost that entire length. And, but you don't see any lights any further west, but you know you have way further west to go before are you get to fire Stanford. lights or electric? Uh, fire. Ah. Well, there won't <laughs> it be looks, a Not like there's like some burning inferno or something like that, but it looks campfires. like, you know, campfires and whatnot. It's probably it Berkeley little... with all those tents. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take it up a little higher. How much fuel do we got in here? Don't uh, ask questions man? like that. <laughs> Roll. Um, <A> percentile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have a full tank. All right. I rolled 100. So Hell yeah. You got a full tank. So it can fly a pretty decent distance. It's not going to fly you from one side of the country to the other. Yeah. Don't but it might get it to Sacramento. Sacramento is very close. It's only going to use less than a quarter tank. Yeah. Do you have a map? We have to get a map of Sacramento so we can see where this university is. Aren't you from California? I'm from California. That yeah, doesn't mean river, he knows river. where the university. Oh, is. I know my way around, like the back of my urethra. Yeah, what's that? I'm a. Know. I know medicine. Yeah. According to the map, Stanford is kind of right between San Francisco and San Jose. And your urethra. Yes, and your urethra. Is that like Godzilla, Mothra, and your urethra? Mothra. Urethra. Yeah, urethra was the giant robot that the Japanese built to fight him. Oh, okay. He had a giant cannon. <laughs> yeah. You can fit anything in him. But it uh, burns. Well, I'll try that's, to... a, that's a sound principle. Ha! Yay. You and me jokes, Bubby. Wee! So, yeah. So, that's what you... So, you know, in a minute or so you'll just fly over the encampment and you can continue to make your way west towards where you you know i'm gonna take my binoculars out and look down at those uh encampments sure and see what kind of people are down there uh looks like non-fun dead okay. uh, they're wearing fairly normal clothes uh, it looks like there are some uh, not like concrete wall barrier type things, but it looks like there are uh, sort of spiked walls out, I guess, if any fun dead happened along. Sure. And it looks like these um, villages are sort of built on the ridges of like these desert mountain kind of things. Uh, so that way they have the high ground they can like look down and whatnot. See it coming. Do I see the makeup of the villagers? Is it like rouge? Are they mostly? Are you asking about the racial makeup? The not village? not racial. More of like, are is it all males? Is it all females? Is it, is it a sausage party? Have nice. they filed their teeth to points because they're raiders? Well, I'm I'm, I'm more worried like if there's like ki w uh, children yeah. down there. Yeah, there's we're not there's, going down there if it's some if kids. the ratio is not right. There's okay. you know men women. Uh, looks like there's. Pretty even. I mean, but I mean, not. You don't think everybody from the village is meandering out for you to count? But no, no, no. But it, it seems like if there's yeah. children there, then they at least have some sort of moral compass. Is what I was going for. Gotcha. Well. Uh, and you can't see <laughs> or... the other villages. I can't see if they're putting the children to work and yeah, the mines sure. and all that. That yeah. could be a child uh, mining camp. We should liberate them. Child mining. <laughs> they pull them right out of the ground. <laughs> That's how they get the bitcoins. Bloop, bloop. Mother Bloop. Earth reveals her bouncing Bloop. onto us. Bloop. Bloop. Let's just keep going to Stanford. All right. Yeah, let's go. Come okay. on, steam ahead. So uh, you continue to fly west over, and as you sort of clear over these desert mountains and whatnot, it opens up into San Jose, and uh, it's a good thing it's dark, because from the sound of it, and... You know it's loud because you're in a helicopter. Mm -hmm. uh, it sounds as though there is a lot of fuckery going on down below. Oh, like. And if you glance down, even with your binoculars, it's it's pitch black dark, but you can see it looks like the streets are just moving. Streets of rage. River! River, come look yeah. at this. Come, yeah. come out here. Okay, yeah. What is that? Look at that. I can't see. Uh... Describe it to me. I'm going to give him a quick, like, push tug on his shirt. Who? River. Okay, as why? We're, as we're <laughs> Just around, poking him? No, not poke him, but, like, we're looking over the edge to the, the squirmy streets. Okay. I'm going to, like, push him on his back but still hold his shirt so he doesn't fall out completely. I figured the doors are closed. Oh, are they? 
That's up yeah, to you. They have doors. <laughs> and this is in Vietnam. <laughs> this is a, it's a this, Vietnam helicopter. It is a Nam helicopter. This is, this is a Nam helicopter. <laughs> that, but we're not in Nam. Earl, <laughs> you close the doors it, when you're right? stateside. Yes. He uh, built this it's thing. It's a ghost helicopter. He never said he built it. I he built said it he from he spare parts. Most, yeah, he most certainly did. Really? Well, it, then I clearly did. River would have the presence of mind to grab onto the oh shit bar. <laughs> not sit anywhere near the <laughs> edge. <laughs> You'll have to make a grab check. <laughs> <laughs> and you're in the front seat, so that'd be kind of awkward to like have to reach I'm around. I'm not in the front seat. I took his gun and took the clip out. Well, yeah, I figured. Yeah, you I thought we were being and... chauffeured in the back. Yeah. Oh, you're both in the back. No, okay. I figured yeah. you were in the back because we were running and we had to jump into the helicopter. Yeah, I, I figured that's where we were. Yeah. Okay. See, I figured Kevin was up front no, with her. You're wrong. That's fine. Dog is my co-pilot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a taxidermy. Oh, no. uh, uh, Gold Kevin, retriever. he's old and dyslexic. <laughs> Sandy. Oh, Sandy. Instead of uh, glass eyes, it's got two buttons. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, one button, the other one fell off. Yeah. Hanging by yeah. a string. Um, but yeah, so you're flying over San Jose, and it's dark. It's the best way to see San Jose. You don't really have any idea exactly where Stanford University is. Cause Wait, San Jose? Because you have a map, but like, you don't, you can't see streets. Can't, there's no like real visual indicators Shit. to give you a good idea of which building Isn't it is. Is there like a tall uh, helicopter with a landing pad? Uh, but the hospital? S Stanford's not in San Jose. It's, in it's between, but still. It's in Stanford. Well, we it's in Stanford. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why it's called Stanford University. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. But I'm still saying you, you don't know which building it is. But it's not. In it's none of these. It's this is San Jose. We're going to fly over this. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's head sure. back the way it's we like came. It's like saying Villanova, uh, like we're flying over Philadelphia. But you don't know any buildings that would be Villanova. Well, it's none of them because Villanova is outside the city limits yeah. in Villanova. No, no one knows. I have got an idea. So that, well, I don't really believe in the apocalypse, do I? It's all in the deep state. Never That's mind. True. Straight for Sacramento. Stanford. Uh, Stanford. Stanford. Let's go to Stanford instead, yeah, I, I'd Stan say. Stanford. Sorry, okay. I get confused sometimes. <laughs> so you get where you're pretty sure Stanford is. Um, again, pitch black. Only problem. Everything is moving. No uh, there's no vegetation. It looks like looks like it's all been burned away. Surely this uh, helicopter has like a spotlight on it. You built a spotlight onto this, right, uh, Earl? Probably. You did. I was, it was more of a stealth kind of thing because I was running drugs in it. No, he didn't build a s spotlight. I got a smoke screen. <laughs> yes, you do have a smoke screen. And one sidewinder missile. <laughs> Are there any like flares or anything? Uh, Is there a box of flares? Do you have a box of flares? Let's look for one. It's, it's my, you, I think you, I... you fly the helicopter. <laughs> I'll look for he the just flares. Let's go. And yeah. just, oh, well, I, <laughs> I stuffed most everything full of silver coins and bricks of weed, but we'll see. Yeah, mostly in the back behind River and Kevin. It's just boxes and boxes of silver. Mostly coins for some reason. I had to uh, hold value with my illegal. What's game. more valuable in a time of darkness than flares, my dude? Well, I assumed there would have been, you know, electric lights. What's why isn't the power on? Now, no because one's responding to the radio. Correct. This is Disco Rhino over. <laughs> Earl. It happened. Don't use my it's real. Name. What? I'm I don't Disco know your Rhino fake name. When I'm up here. Disco Rhino. Disco Rhino. This is reality calling. The apocalypse happened. It's real. Disco what, did, Rhino. Did the, did we the hear government you. shut down fiat currency? Hold on. <gasps> Disco Rhino? Disco Rhino flying high what? in the sky. You're flying? Yes. You don't sit here, but. Is that what we heard going on? My raffle copter goes. Oh, you're in a helicopter? Wow. All right. Haven't seen one of those in a long time. Who's this? Are you the cops? Cops? No, no. I, you have I'm, to tell me if you are. I'm the communications guy at the in our the village. Local, the local improv. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Uh, do you know where uh, Stanford is? Yeah, it's west of us. Uh, what about the building, the university? What is it in the center or? I don't, I mean I. I haven't been there in a while. Is there a Chipotle? Not currently, probably. That whole area is completely overrun. 
Do you want to talk to him? No, yeah, no, you're doing it. fine. Right. You're doing fine, Earl. All right, well. Uh, he said that it's overran. It, we we want to hide our numbers, Earl. Monkeys? The, the fun dead. Fun dead. The fungal zombies? Uh, sounds like propaganda to me. Okay, well, in land. Has the deep state eradicated fiat currency yet? Fiat currency. See, it's uh, Italian currency. It's fiat currency. Okay. It's where you trade tiny cars in exchange for yeah. goods and services. That's yeah. all the freedom coins. Oh, okay. Um, we mostly just barter here. I don't know about freedom coins, but they're silver. All right. And I've got horse paste. But, okay. It's, it's cool. All right, well, what food we can hey, trade you for well, horse we'll, paste. Well, we'll, we'll see later. We're, depending on what the food court's like here, we're going to Stanford, so I need to pay attention. How ask how far out we are from Stanford? Can you see us? No. What if we shoot a gun off? Maybe you can look to the sky if you towards sh- Stanford. If you shoot a flare, we might be able to spot you. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll try that. We don't have one, Earl. <laughs> Just shoot the gun. <laughs> uh, Pretty far away to see Kevin, a muzzle flash in the dark. Right. Kevin, give me one bullet. Do you promise not to put this in me? I promise not to put this in your Do head. Do you pinky promise not to put this I, in my head? I hold my pinky. I pinky promise, my dude. Where's the your pinky other hand? Is Let me see your other hand. I, I hold no, it in front no of my face. Finger. No crossbacks. I'm not a man of deception. Right. I've always been honest with you. I, I have. That's, that's true. That's true. That's true. And I give him I give him a bullet to load into his chamber. Okay. I load it into the chamber and, and I, I point back. Kevin's, Kevin's head. <laughs> what? And I pull the trigger. And I fire up at the rotor. <laughs> no, don't do that. Do you no, guys I, see I'll, us? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll point back towards uh, the east. Okay. You're going to shoot I'll, at their camp? Well, I mean. They're the, pretty the, far away. Right, yeah, go the, for it. The yeah, odds of this hitting good. them are astronomically low. Yeah. All right. Fucking go for uh, it. So low. <laughs> and I'll pop one off. I'll count it down for you okay. so he can look. Let's What's I'll do my first again? helipop. <clears throat> oh, it's Jeremy. Jeremy, I'm going to pop off in three, two, one. Pop. <laughs> did you see it? Yeah, with my crit 20, I did. Ooh. Uh, you <laughs> are really far away. Holy crap. From Sacramento? Or? From me. I don't know where you are right now. Do you have a telescope? Do Radar? I have a telescope? Radar? Yeah, we cleared land. Are there any other birds in the sky? What? No, no one's. No one's been flying in years. That's... This is literally the first helicopter I've heard in uh, maybe since right after everything went to hell. Do you have any spotlights? Spotlights. Laser assisted landing. We don't have electricity. Jesus, you're useless. Voice... How are you talking to me? Voice in head. What time, of, what time of night is it? It's got a little generator, a cranky crank generator. Huh? What time of night is mm-hmm. it? Uh, pr- Probably about 11 o'clock. We could just land on the beach. That's way past bedtime for, like, you know, healthiness. For Earl. For Earl. <laughs> He's sundowning right now <laughs> hard. So any any ideas, guys? We want to just try to land in the dark, or should we go back to the village and take off in the morning? I feel gently nudged in the direction back east <laughs> to land in that village you? and talk no. to them. You can land in the total darkness. It sounds like a terrible idea, because I can barely <laughs> take off. You can do whatever you want. It's d and Yeah. I mean... You have the uh, gauges in the helicopter to see if we're level or not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see, you can see what the gauges, what our uh, our height is. Yeah. What's the what's the weather condition like in Southern California? Clear, Calm, dry, clear. dark. Is the Very moon dry. What's the moon cycle like? Mm, crescent. How close am I to my period? You're, You're like never gonna get it. You're never never You're gonna like get it. Two and a half weeks it. out. I'm never going to become a woman. <laughs> You're telling me this right now. Well, my, my parents maybe, lie to me. Maybe. Yeah. Can't have known your heart. I'm what's uh, What's the ground underneath us look like? Moving. Mm. Are there rough. any buildings around us? You could see basic outlines, but you don't really have a way to light up down mm-hmm. there, and it's pitch black. No, but we could tell how high they are. Uh, it looks like there are buildings that. Uh, looks like the tallest building you can see is about. Four stories. Is it a helicopter? So, or like a, like a, an apartment 
complex. Maybe. Yeah. Could be an apartment mm. complex. Could, Could be, be a something hospital. else. Could be a hospital. Normally, hospitals do have helipads. Could be that, too. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't know what you guys want, but uh, it could be pretty risky to land this bird in the dark in an urban environment. I think we're going to have to l- land this bird in the dark no matter what. That's true. Even if we go back to the village, yeah, they've got flames, but you still have to touch down in the dark. All right, well. Let's go over to that building that has four stories yeah. and see what it, see what the top looks like. We'll get up there, yeah. uh, fly around it. You guys look and call it out to me. And then we'll uh, try to get up there. I'll just stick my foot out of the side of the helicopter and use my toe to feel around. Yeah. <laughs> you could also... Um, you could start a fire over there. You could also just... Um, Chris Evans land the helicopter by holding on to the edge of the building in the helicopter and then just muscle it over. Yeah, just gently guide it with my righteous yeah. biceps. That's true. You could do that. Sure. Why not? All right, let's get close to this building. Yep. All right. Maybe fly around. Uh, so you're flying around, or so you're flying around like around around it, or like above around above, it? above it. Because okay. I need to be able to land on it if I uh, need to. It looks like the top of the building is for the most part clear, but you see like lines of based on the moonlight, anyways, the little moonlight that there is. It looks like there are just lines all over the place around the top of that Does building. Does it say that H? Go down around. Um, you can't see any lettering on the top of that building. Get lower. Get a little lower. Okay. Like I might try get to land low, in the center. Get low, of it. get low, get Roll low. Roll perception. That's the end of you guys. That's a four. Uh, can, uh, well, I mean, obviously we're helping him guiding, right? Uh, Sorry, that's that a seven. Fucking, uh, geez, six. Uh, you, it's it's just too dark to really make out a whole lot of detail. Uh, like I said, you're seeing these. Sort of shimmering lines all over the place that how, are around the top. Wait, give him another bullet. Maybe how they, how high are we above this building? Um, I'd say about a hundred feet. Get I lower. Get lower. Okay. Yeah, get you a lot take lower. Take it down to fifty feet. Okay, you get down to fifty. I don't see shit. We could get. We could ha- assist each other if anyone is. Ass- before we all roll. <laughs> Seventeen. <laughs> Four. Uh. It does look like there might be a faded H. It's kind of hard to tell, but it also looks like this thing is covered in, if you had to make an educated guess, webbing of some type. Webbing? And it's covering Spiders. all Funnel over webbing. the top of this building, down the sides, and it looks like most of the surrounding area down below is also covered in this weird sticky webbing. Hmm. But it's not like white or silvery. It's more of like a... Weird brownish greenish color. You may have to light on fire. And it looks like it's pulsating. I don't like that. Pulsating. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's this guy's name on the radio? Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. Yeah. What's with the spider webs? Oh, you. Oh, okay. So you're you're out that far. These guys are from Virginia, I think. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't get anywhere near that if I were you. Why not? Well, they got queens down there. The band? Uh, no. The, the, like of the Stone Age. Have you not seen a queen f- fungal creature? Yes, queen. No, not not a yes queen. A queen. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't want to. Yeah. They can basically reanimate bits and turn it into fungus, or they can just stitch fungus what? together and make big nasty things. What the hell are bits? We don't reanimate bits. They die in every season. We don't carry those over. You know that. <laughs> I don't. I don't know that. Who are you? Oh, this is Kevin. Who is this? I uh, said my name's Jeremy. Oh, I've, it's I've nice to it. meet you. I'm just chiming in for the first time. Oh, okay. Jeremy. So what yeah. ha- what happens if we land our helicopter in this? Uh, well, hope that nobody notices. Cuz mm. if they notice, then they'll swarm mm. and uh you might not be able to take back off. Do the webs work like a spider web like it's a tingly thing and they find you? Yeah. Huh. Mm. That's been our experience. Do you do you have any coyotes? What? You know, to smuggle us in? I mean, we do have like runs that we, we, need... we go in and uh, well... steal stuff. But usually, you have to we have to burrow under the uh, the idea. webs. This helicopter's useless. <clears throat> we need to get to Stanford. Why? Uh, we have a meeting inside <clears throat> the medical building. Well, I don't know who you'd be meeting. We haven't seen any survivors come out of there in a long time. Yeah, well, there are. That's the thing. There are. Okay. So, 
Uh, if we land back in your encampment, would you be able to give us a uh, passage into the medical building? That's a long ride. Um, you might be able to convince somebody crazy enough to go down there with you. I'm sure. We'd also Otherwise, accept like they'll just give a you guide. directions. We could also accept like a guide who could ride in our helicopter with us. Yeah, like Maybe a Sherpa. We have to like burrow. Sherpa. We can take the sewers. Herpa. Okay. What happens if you light the lamp on fire, Jeremy? Uh, it's a little moist for that. With gasoline. Yeah, we we tried that. It kind of agitates her even more. Mm. That's why we just try and avoid it at all costs. We just go around it. We've we found going around it and avoiding it is better than trying right. to destroy well, it. Roger. Dodger. It's a little moist for that. I mean, <laughs> so is my ex girlfriend's vagina. It's still burned. Okay. From the friction, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, we're coming in hot, Jeremy, so. Oh, you're landing here? Yeah, we're coming. Oh, oh okay. Can I'll, you build us a, a series I'll, of fires? I'll let them know to <laughs> have somebody run out there with a torch or something, and uh, we'll try and make some space for you. And don't you Thanks, try any man. funny stuff. We're loaded to the teeth. Okay. On this weed. You got weed? Oh, yeah. Hey, Jeremy, don't worry about him. He's 87 years old. I'm uh, 70, thank you. Yeah, He's sundowning. That's his last memory. He's sundowning. When he's, okay. Yeah. That tracks. Okay. That's fine. He's, um, a, he's a good pilot because, you know, he flew during the war. Yeah. Okay. And since he's got he's senile, that's, you know, where he I'm he not lives. senile. I like cottage cheese. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I mean, I guess we'll <laughs> extend you the same courtesy. Don't try any funny business. Heck no. We probably outnumber you. Oh, Seems most likely. certainly. So. But we come in peace, as uh -huh. long as you're not monkeys. Uh, no, we are not monkeys. Literal apes. You sure? Uh, pretty sure. Uh, All right, let's put this whirly bird oh, down. Monkey. We're coming. Girl. All right, roll me. Uh, so you fly back over towards the village that you'd flown over before, and you see that uh, there are some fires out there. They're waving them around on sticks, so it looks like, you know, they're giving you a space to land. Mm -hmm. uh, roll me a dexterity check with a plus two because they've got the guiding lights. <clears throat> That's not the best. Well, what was it? Uh, it's a nine. Ooh, okay. Hello, average. <laughs> he said he was great at flying, not great at landing. <laughs> so you're coming in a little quick. Uh, let's see here. He's like, I never got this far before. You've yeah. never flown a helicopter. You can't. I was assist. mostly worried about the takeoff and flying I, around. I understand that I've never flown a helicopter, but if he's coming in low and he's using a joystick, yeah. I would know to pull on the joystick back down to the ground to try to level it up. Well, I'm, yeah, and I'm not like coasting and I'm getting above and coming down yeah. straight. Right? Yeah. That's coming, how you land yeah. a helicopter? Yeah. You're just coming in a little quick. Coming a little hot. Yeah, a little hot. Um, I can't oh, see anything. Kevin or River, roll me a perception check. <clears throat> I'm coming down. Uh, 13. Okay. 24. Kevin, you notice you're coming a little fast. Uh, if you can warn Earl, which will give him another deck Hell check. Hell yeah, I'm going to warn, <coughs> warn Earl. You <laughs> could if you want to, but... Uh, 10. <laughs> All right. So you just land way harder than you need to. Uh, not as hard as I would have. But not quite as hard as you would have. Sorry, my reflexes aren't as good as uh, they You hear be. a yell, ah, as they jump out of the way, and you smack into the ground, breaking the, the butt like the landing bit. Just on the one side. Sure. I mean, it would still take off, probably. You didn't, like, smash it into yeah. the ground. But yeah. I'm saying, like, the, the, the legs or the whatever you call them. They're just kind of smashed and bent and, you know, whatever. All right. Uh, and it rattles around for a little bit and then sort of settles. Yeah, we could flip all those switches off. Ooh. All right, Earl, get out and talk to your friend. And there are, uh, when you get out, or at least when you land, you look around, it looks like there are a number of people with guns pointed. Oh. They're not, they're not like pointing right at, but they're sort of at, the ready fingers off the trigger. We come in peace. And there's a guy Riding. with uh, oh. with the headphones. And he's, he's down. There. He's like, "Hey, Jeremy. Yep, this is Jeremy. How you doing? Pretty all right. You, you caught me right before I was about to go to bed. So well, what? 
we need to get to Stanford. Should we wait till morning or? Um, I would say so because we don't have a way to see in the dark. I mean, they don't either. But yes, all right, well, you might stumble bumble into awful. I guess is it all right if we just sleep here in the helicopter or? I mean, we've got a spare tent we can give you. What are you getting, guys? Uh, it's pretty suspicious that anyone would have a spare tent. You seem First, like a hiker, so I believe. Like, who cares? Maybe who takes an extra tent? I mean, people die. Why did they? What did they die of? Huh, Jeremy? Answer me that. Going into the town for supplies and not. Who coming sent back. them there? The, they fall. Big tent. Mm. Big tent sent them there. Yeah, big, big tent. tent. Big tent. Barnum and them. Bailey. Yeah, you you got it, guys. And as you have arrived, we are going to take a break. And we're back. So I'm going to uh, lock up the helicopter. Okay. I'm the club. Thing. How are you going to lock it up? It doesn't have doors. You said it did. You said it didn't. I just said it was from Nam. You guys literally. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have doors. Okay. But I'm going to take all my stuff with me. You can't say in one instance it's got no doors and then. Oh, now it's got doors. Yeah, I Surely. Figured, I figured they had, like, uh, van doors. This guy, like, the, the... That's what I figured, but the nope, doors were closed. No doors. Okay, there's no, no it's doors. Got, it's got no. Uh, uh, nylon latticing with ghillie stuff on it. Sure, latticing. I figure it obviously has a safety feature, much like a motorcycle, where you just pull the stick to the side and insert a key and lock it, so that if you want to try and steal the helicopter, that's fine, but you can only fly in circles. Typically, yeah, they have a thing right. that latches, I believe, up to the one of the blades, and then it goes down to the front, so it can't go anywhere. We'll do that. And that I'll sounds made up, keys. but okay, yeah, we have that. that. Certainly sounds made up. That was in uh, Winter Soldier. Uh huh. Oh yeah, that's a Virginia. real movie, yeah. Winter Soldier. <laughs> I, it's a. I mean, that's conceivable that they would have a thing you'd attach from the end of the rotor to the. I mean, the helicopters we have here in town, they have that same thing, but they don't really fly. Well, I'm going to take There it was a man that ate a purple flower and dressed up like a cat in that movie, didn't it? He didn't eat the purple flower in that movie. <laughs> meow, meow. He had it before. He did. He had it before. That's different. Meow, meow, indeed. Well, guys, take all these uh, boxes of stuff with us so Jesus. we can trade. This shit's so heavy. What, are you just going to leave it here overnight? <laughs> it's with really heavy. Gunny you're, Magoo over there? You're si you said you were sleeping in the helicopter. Why do we got to take all this out? I thought we were taking it. Uh, let's leave in the helicopter then. Take turns. Make up your mind, Earl. What do you want to do? I want to eat cottage cheese, but I can't fucking do that. Whoa, hey, watch <laughs> your mouth. Inappropriate. Let's sleep here. You can sleep here. This is your helicopter. This is your silver. This is your... Jeremy's. 1984's Maxim Magazine collection? That's a good one. It's a good year. Jeremy's meandering around trying not to listen to what you guys are talking about, looking very awkward. Like, Jesus. I don't want to sleep here. I'm not moving your silver. All right. Watch Thank the helicopter, the Earl, and we'll take the tent. Yeah. We're going to go sleep in this really rustic, on-the-ground tent. There's going to be bugs, rocks, no pillows. You're going to be more comfortable here. I am, and you guys are going to have... That good old tent filled with trust all night. <laughs> You're going to sleep a lot. <laughs> First off, River and I, we don't trust each other. We're barely friends at this point. We started out good, but he's got an attitude most recently, which I do not appreciate. <laughs> oh. Tell us how you really And feel. that's how... Well, River's we're gonna, just wringing his hands. We're going <laughs> to sleep in different tents. Because I don't trust falling asleep a scoundrel like River. But I'm willing to work. Scoundrel. I, we only have the one. Scoundrel. That's fine. I like the sound of that. And no one's going to want a oh, room with you. Who Whose idea was it to just leave abandoning Charlie, buddy? Scoundrel? Scoundrel. Me. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's not that. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> it's not that I agreed to leave her there. She said, go on without me. You were me, going Ruby. to abandon her before you ever talked to her. <laughs> you can't <laughs> prove that. You I was there. Protect. I don't have to prove it. I know it. And you know I was there. No. I watched you do it. No, it's it's not even that. Check the black box. It's not even it's that, not River. Installed. It's incriminating <laughs> evidence. I could, I could feel her intentions before she made them. The Lord told me. Oh my. What to do? 
He you slimy leading. son of a bitch. Give him your slimiest tent, please, Jeremy. <laughs> we only have one tent right now. Looks like <laughs> <laughs> looks like we're not getting any sleep. I mean, you can sleep outside. You can sleep. It's not yes, that, hey, River. It's, it's not that hot. I can sleep up against a tree. River, your eyes look really dark. I'm you should probably bed. get some sleep. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, guys... go ahead and go go on into your tent, buddy. No, you no, guys, no, no. Are you I, guys friends? Hey, Jeremy, give us a second, please. I know, are you guys friends? Yeah, yeah. excuse yeah. me. Excuse me. <laughs> Jeremy, we are. Oh, we okay. have the bond that's of why, shared that's, trauma. That's why I'm <laughs> offering him the tent. River, take the tent. I'm sleeping in the helicopter. No, Jerry. River. <laughs> I go back in the helicopter. River. <laughs> and then there was one. I'm going to take that tent. Yeah. Okay. You got potable water here? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah, we used to go down rivers and, you know, gather up water. Well, yeah, yeah I know, but that's. Try to pee downstream, please. That's. that's. We would have to you boil it, filter it, and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you say that, but it, well, are you we guys have, we doing have fire. it? We boil it. We don't have a filter. You don't have a charcoal filter. You, no. if you're if you're starting fires, you can build a charcoal filter I'm, pretty easily. I'm, okay, well, why would we build a filter? To filter out the bacteria, the dirt, and the sand. Nah. Do you guys have any barrels for storage so you don't like run out in a drought? Oh boy. No. Oh my. We haven't had it. I mean, all right, all right. Look, we we're fairly close to you know rivers. So the rivers yeah, haven't I dried thought, up. Right I thought yeah, I was what? close. Excuse to, me. I thought I was close. Not to you. Too. I guess your oh. name is River. He was already yeah, in a helicopter. Yeah. I'm, I'm, so was Earl. Jeremy's standing right next to the helicopter. I'm <laughs> yeah. To sleep over here. Shut up. I thought I was close to one too, Jeremy. But I thought you were going to the tent. I have the tent in my hand. What? You I gotta go pitch it. No, that's all right. I'm gonna go pitch it wherever I want. That's, what are you talking about? That's my zip up jacket. <laughs> Excuse me. River, go to bed. Jeremy's like I'm members only jacket. Did we just accept a helicopter filled with mental patients? Is no. That what no, just an old man, a drug addict, and a good Lutheran boy. Speaking of, do y'all have any fungus? Do you are you cool? Do you party? Whoa, no, no. Yeah. Uh, See what I've been dealing with, Jeremy. Why would we do fungus? It's literally it changes people into monsters. Yeah. Not if you process it correctly. Why would we want to take that chance? They don't have a water we filter. Just smoke weed. <laughs> Feels good, man. You have weed? Yeah. I mean, not a I ton right weed now. Weed in years. I mean, you guys said you had weed, so that's why we were oh. like, oh, okay. Well, we could use a top up. Well, in that case, Jeremy, here I break off a little piece for him for for the parking meter. Oh, th thanks. Earl. It's mostly stem. Give him, give him the other half and let's get to, uh, let's party about No, I'm, I'm sleepy. <laughs> I want to shop tomorrow. Fine, I'll smoke weed by myself. It, it, it's not yours to smoke. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> going to barter for them for goods and services, obviously. Right. Well, you owe me a foot massage. <laughs> I'm asking Jeremy for some of his. Oh, oh I see. I mean, what I do you see. have to trade? I'm not just uh, giving you weed. <laughs> I said we work on a barter system. I am very skilled at making various salves and ointments. As long as you have the raw materials. <laughs> I was going to say, it sounds like you don't have anything on you at the moment. Jeremy, can you show me where my tent is, please? I'm also tired. Yeah, and he, he points, and it's literally a tent. It's kind of it's over towards the end of the of the the encampment. How long is the encampment? Uh, I mean, based when you were flying over it, probably about a football field. Okay. It's not very wide, so you would say it's probably about three-tenths wide and just a football field long. All right, I'm going to start walking towards my tent. Okay. Enjoy sleeping on your back, Kevin. Not all of us have that luxury anymore. Kevin, there are two armed guards that also follow you to the tent. You're a shyster, River. I've known you for years, and I still don't trust you. Hey, Jeremy. You're, thank you're being you for gaslit, your Jeremy. Jeremy, thank you for your hospitality. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good luck with this one. I okay. met this guy last week. Okay. Hey, Jeremy, I was your best man at your fucking... Oh, at your wedding. I've never Sorry. been married. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> slip, slip. The mask slips. I'm going to go to bed now. Never, you said Jeremy. <laughs> That's River. So, you guys are so weird. Hey, all right. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Okay. 
So, e- so even the helicopter, they keep an assortment of guards around it just to watch to make sure you guys don't get up to any. Because we're know, crazy. No good. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help any. Then you know what? They add a guard to each of the rotations. Yeah, so, cool. Given's got three, and the helicopter's Extra got four. Safe. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go. Everyone's asleep. As far as you could tell. Yeah, even River. I said I'm gonna offer one of the guards to do gay stuff for weed. What? <laughs> yeah, or 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 straight stuff if it's a girl guard. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. It's progressive. I mean, roll persuasion. Or chari- you know I, what? Roll me charisma because you're still dirty and stink. I pout my lips the yeah, hardest they've he didn't ever clean been. Clean any of that monkey poo he off He never your does. Butt. He doesn't clean anything. <laughs> With disadvantage. <laughs> you can just because you break stink. off a nug, bud. It's all right. I've got bricks. You're asleep. Five. Uh, most of the guards do not take you up, but you notice there is a rather bulbous one with like a very large nose. He doesn't really fit in any of his uh, equipment that he's got on, and he just sort of, he, his breathing is very audible, and he's just like, "All right." I look at him and I shrug and I say, "Any pork in a storm?" All I'm right. I'm ready. I'm the rock god of guarding. Oh, yeah. oh my god! <laughs> you give her a receiver. All right, you got you're gonna have to show me that ounce first, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he he has a he pulls out one. You don't have to give it to me. You got to show me. Yeah, sure. One marijuana. Yeah, I got one marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, let's go. Oh, like, where's your tent? All right. And then, uh, so he just leads you over towards uh, the outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you said tent. Here, but... No, no, no. no. I'm literally I, I already coming. I don't shit. live alone, so I don't want my roommate hearing what's going about to go down. So. It sounds like maybe I'm intruding into a monogamous relationship, and no. I don't want to be a part of that. Roommate. I'm not. I'm not down with that energy. So, roommate, uh, you know, I'll just do it without tonight. That's fine. Fine, prude. We'll be able to sleep. And he looks. He looks very sad as he goes back to his guard spot. Yeah, he's the rock he just, god of guarding. Of course, he's sad. <laughs> go, go home to your wife, buddy. I don't have a wife. I have Go home a to your boyfriend. I don't know. It's I'm okay. I'm like, single. Okay. Buddy, it's single, 2028. Right you don't have to call him your roommate anymore. It's fine. Single, ready to mingle. <laughs> I'm going to go down to the river. God damn it. Uh, so the river is beyond the uh, encampment. Yeah, that's fine. How far beyond? Uh, quite a bit. So probably about a half mile. Ooh. And they're like, yeah, well, I wouldn't recommend you wandering off in the dark. Do you have water here that I can that yeah. I can take? Do, do, you, do you guys do showers here? Uh, yeah, I mean, we do baths. We don't do showers. Okay, but can still. We have, I mean, we have a bathtub. Do you mind if I have some water? Like a, a gallon of water to drink and take a bath? What do you got to trade? That's a good question. Netherman? Yeah, we get a whole bunch of water for that leather man. But you got a pocket full of AK bullets. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of AK. I have my Leatherman multi tool that I can give you. With a oh snap, holster? you got a Leatherman? Yes, and it has a leather holster. What? Fuck yeah! No, you can. Yeah, how much water you need? Just a gallon. Oh, fuck, I'll give you five gallons for that. I'll take that. Sure. Does that include a, a free bath or no? Uh, that also includes a free bath. So five yeah, gallons I of would... drinking water and then bath yeah, water. Yeah, I'll do it. Sweet. And he takes the Leatherman. All right. And brings you the water to the tent. All right. I'm, uh... I've been showering in monkey piss for the past <laughs> few weeks. Pretty <laughs> much. Months. Yeah, a few <laughs> weeks. Um, hey, so here's what I'm going to do real quick. What's your name, by the way? Um, my name? It's Paul. All right, Paul. Look, uh, I really appreciate that. Please take care of that. That was that was a wedding gift for my 20th anniversary for my, my wife. Will do. Uh, I'm going to go run some of these jugs down to my compatriots. Okay. And then uh, I'll take you up on that bath if you don't mind. Isn't Kevin like 35? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. No, just the... He'd kill a man for that leather man. Got a, got a dagger the, situation uh, going on here. <laughs> Just the uh, the love of Christ keeps me looking young. <laughs> okay. You, you all right with shit. me just running these jugs down and then showing me where the bath is? Yeah. 
That's All fine. Right. I'm going to run back to the helicopter. Is uh, is Earl still asleep? Uh-huh. Yeah. Is River asleep? Uh, let's see. At 20. Yeah, he's asleep. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one jug of water, put it next to Earl, one jug of water, yes. put it next to River, uh, one jug of uh, the other two jugs I'm going to put in the helicopter itself, okay, and then keep one for myself. But okay. I'm going to keep it close enough to them that when they wake up, they can see this potable water is right next to them. Okay, and then I'm going to head back to my tent, drop off the jug of water, and then be led into the bathing area. All right. So you go in there, and uh, you go into the, the the bath tent, and it looks like they have a very large cauldron of. Uh, Hot water that's cauldron. Boiling. It's a big ass cauldron. Yeah. Why are you guys using a cauldron? It's what you know. What you use what you got, man. So why do you why do you got why do you got, why do you got a goddamn cauldron? We found it. Which is this? Actually, funny story. This village was founded around that cauldron. It was too big to move, so we just shop? left it here. Are we in cold Landria? New Cauldrania. New Cauldrania is pretty good. I, 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 are there, is there anything floating in this cauldron? Bubbles. Is it? It's boiling. It's boiling water. Yeah. I'm not gonna get into boiling <laughs> well, water. You didn't know that we pour it into the tub oh. and then you let it cool a bit, then you get, get in it. You don't get, get in the cauldron, you. you dummy. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> I, I li- hey, what was your name again? Paul. Paul. I just got out of village of sentient apes. Nothing in my brain is right anymore. I don't know they, which way is They which. bathed in cauldrons. <laughs> I literally <laughs> thought you were cartoonishly villain uh, cannibals oh, that God. had, like, cut celery and carrots and potatoes. And he points around, and there are numerous tubs in this tent. Like, there are, like... I'm tired. It's all, it's all wash tubs. And I'm it tired. looks like there's, like, 20 of them. And he's just like, yeah, we've got the center cauldron here, always cooking the water, and then we can go from tub to tub. Okay. Well, hey, we're not making meat man m- soup. M- meat man soup? Meat man soup. <laughs> I'm tired. Meat man soup man. reporting live. <laughs> Chunk Gunderson here. Chunk Gunderson. Out uh, front of Meat Man <laughs> Suction News 9. <laughs> All right. P- pour it in. Let's go. Okay. I'm tired. So he gets a big giant uh, ladle. ladle kind of. <laughs> a comic it's no, it's another ladle. smaller cauldron. It's kind of like a bucket on the end of a metal stick, and he just pulls it in there. And he takes him a few trips, but he fills up the tub enough where you could bathe in it. Nice. It's got about six inches of water in it. All right, I, li- I lay down in it. <laughs> okay. You don't wait for it to cool down? Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> okay. but not too much. Sure. Um, I like the way my body burns. Well, it's quite hot. Cool. It's hot. Like, yeah, and he also gives uh, procu- gives you a like a bar of what appears to be soap. Is this Irish Spring? No, no, no. We Thank make God. we make our own soap. Okay, cool. Out of what? Just you know, goats bones. Well, I don't make the soap. Personally. Okay, you're right. Just human fat. All right, Paul. Thank you, man. I'm going to lay in this tub now. Okay. I won't fall asleep. Sure. He's not leaving. Yeah, that's fine. He's, <laughs> He's gonna still standing there. Yeah. I mean, Along with the other two dudes. Are you going to wash yourself? Yep. <laughs> I thought you just laid just lay <laughs> Well, I was going to lay in the tub. Soap. Well, yeah. I mean, i got to relax first before I can uh, nice. scrub my bits. Sure. So you're going to relax, wash, and then head back to the tent? Or? Yeah. Okay. Do they have towels, or do I have to air dry? Uh, they have towels. I, I'm towel. just going to air dry. I'm going to use it as a power move. Okay. And uh, walk back to my tent uh, uh, confidently. Sure. Uh, when you leave the tent, it feels much colder than it did before. Uh, yeah, you'll probably be fine by the time you get to the, the tent or whatever. It's just yeah, okay. uncomfortable. Uh, I mean, I'm from Pennsylvania. I mean, we have mild winters. When was the last time you were in Pennsylvania? Uh, about a year and a half. But I was born was there. It? I thought you had said that you had gone on vacation and then the world ended. Yeah. That was like a year and a half. Five years ago. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been about a year and a half. Calendars, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So, yeah, you had yeah, back just to your like, and you just go you to know, sleep? 2019 was just a few, like a year ago. Yeah, sure, yeah. bud. 
Sure. Look a year and a half. It's June 950th of 2019. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you just going to sleep then? Hold on. You hear that in the headphones? Yes. Ah, uh, yes, I hear it. Hmm. Uh, yes, I'm just going to go back to sleep. Okay. So you all go to sleep, and uh, you wake up in the morning as uh, you can, each of you can hear the, the hustle and bustle of the village that uh, you just spent the night in. And most people are out and about. Um, it looks like many people have jobs. There's children playing. Um, people already making their way down towards the river. People cleaning off whatever corpses might have ran into the spiky traps. Um, you know, it looks like everybody's got a job. Yeah, a first day of freedom. Ooh. I come out of the tent. Okay. And I stretch and bend. Are you still naked? Yes. Okay. Find us the bazaar, River. The three guards are still there, but sure. Same guards, Paul? Uh, no, it looks like they rotated. Yeah. Peter. You don't get through the apocalypse without seeing a little bit of dick. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. Whatever. Especially in an outhouse. The apocalypse dick. And it was cold, so definitely. No, nope. the apocalypse. That's just, that's just the apocalypse. <laughs> Can we make that the apocalypse? <laughs> we've got iPhones. Dra- Dragon Con. We've got. Professional I mean, we've got writing. four. I think. I think, like I think we're on our way. The Megan? four. The four horsemen of the apocalypse. <laughs> it's just a gay foursome. We've got in with somebody who probably has horses. <laughs> Ponies. <laughs> um. Well, let's let's see if. Uh, No, I'm with River. You're Kevin? Kevin. Let's see if <laughs> Kevin shows up before we head to the shopping district. Okay. And then uh, we can procure a, a coyote and some, maybe some cheese. Coyotes love cheese. Yeah. They're like Shiba Inus in that like... regard. Okay. Uh, Kevin, are you going back to the helicopter, or what? Are you, what is your yeah, plan? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to... See, hey, uh... I was talking to Paul last night. Mm-hmm. What's what's your name? Tim. Tim. Tim, my clothes are uh, disgusting. Do you okay. guys have like spare clothes that I could use as I wash these? Uh, we so got I'm not, some. Uh, so I'm not hanging dong in front of these kids. Uh, well, that's nothing they've never seen before. It's my modesty versus um, versus their we, intelligence. We got some rags or whatever. I mean, if you want clothes, clothes, you got to barter for them, but. I'll barter you my dirty clothes for your clean clothes. No. Ah, it's a joke. I'm kidding. Mm. I'll barter you the good word of the Lord for some clean clothes. Mm, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take a, like a a rag. I can fashion that into It's like a, a potato sack. Okay. <laughs> cut some holes. <laughs> I, I, I can cut some holes, turn it upside yeah. down. Well, and... It's got holes cut in it. It's been used oh. for this purpose before. Okay, but has it been washed? You say that. It's not like covered in feces, like your clothes. Uh, okay, well, mm, <laughs> hey, you know what, Tim? You are correct. Yeah. G- give me uh, two potato sacks, please. Why do you need two? One for the top and one for the bottom. All right. And uh, do you have, like, a broken extension cord I can use as a belt? Uh, that's an expensive piece of equipment. <laughs> If it's yeah. broken, it's not worth anything. I mean, we don't have, I, I don't know about an extension cord, but I probably have some twine or something you can use to tie around yourself. I would love that. Thank Great. you. Great. It gets you some twine. So, <laughs> I'm in a Irish tuxedo. Yeah. Well, while we're waiting for him to show up, I'm going to just gonna get out of the helicopter, strip down, and douse myself with that gallon of water while I also drink it. But kind of rub myself. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. Whatever falls over you, you just yes. used to clean. Got it. Okay. And I'm going to walk up to the plane, a helicopter. Earl's naked. I'm getting dressed. <laughs> I'm drinking at the same time. <laughs> You're bathing with that water? I'm drinking it, too. Yeah, but more of it's going out than in. There's it a just river. showed up while I was sleeping. There's a river you could be... I assume that's why it's easy to get water. It's, there's a whole river. Hey, river. Yeah. Your buddy's back. Oh boy, uh, <laughs> River uh, voice and head. River after having woken up and uh, sorted things out with Earl, will have been actively seeking uh, some sort of bath, even if it's just a dive in the river to get the monkey poop off of him. 
So then you're sneaking away from the helicopter? It's not sneaking. Room? I'm just going to get a bath. I'll yeah. tell them. We all do right. it like well, there's a, bath, there's a bath house if you want a hot bath. Or if you just want to go jump in the river, I guess you could do Don't it. care. Don't yeah. care. Uh, Whatever's yeah. closest. You, technically closest would be the bathhouse. That's fine. Yeah. You go in there. Somebody fixes you a bath. You still have guards following you. You got two guards following you. That's fine. They can come. Yeah. Just somebody's there to assist you. They dump the water in the, the bathtub and give you a bar of soap and call it a day. I give so, thank yous all around, and I head back to the helicopter. All so right. uh, looking at all these uh, things that I've accumulated over the years, before I was enslaved by uh, sentient monkeys, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, what kind of uh, crazy old man doomsday currency prepping did I do? Besides weed and silver, <clears throat> you know, I'm gonna roll it out. Maybe, maybe there's some rope because it's a helicopter. Got to tie it down. Like high or low? Combat knife. Uh, high. Okay. High or low? Uh, low. High or low? Low. Okay. Two out of three. Uh, so it has a great deal of rope. Uh, it actually has some metal cable for tying the helicopter mm, down. Nice. Uh, You'd say it's probably about a 50-foot like coil of cable for tying the helicopter down. It's like metal. Uh, you also have 50 foot of rope. You have, obviously, the silver that you were talking about before. You do have a box of like whatever gold you came across, so mostly mm. jewelry. Yes. Uh, you also have a box of currency that is American dollars. you got pesos in there. You've got uh, Canadian mm-hmm. Uh, you've got uh, some other random currencies from around the world that you just kind of collected, but you have a lot of Iraqi dinari for some reason. <laughs> yes, I, that was a thing. <laughs> it's Iraqi dinar. Dinar. I didn't. Yeah, dinari was actually in the Roman, uh, the the Roman currency. Dinari was the queen of uh, dragons. Both <laughs> dinaris. <laughs> sure. So yeah, so you have a, a box of random currency nice. and. Uh, a lot of weed. Uh, yeah. I'll say you got a pound of weed. That's pretty good. Well, I didn't. I didn't have time to make a full harvest, but sure. Let's let's trade. You guys want to see if we can get some good stuff for these goods? Whatever you want, Earl. Well, don't you guys want like a? Well, I see we all took a bath. Some new clothes and. Kevin's got new clothes. He's wearing. I got, a, I got an Irish tuxedo on right now. <laughs> Let's get maybe some, it's very scratchy. maybe some weapons and That's, some supplies yeah. for the journey. I'm but very chafy, and I just put this mm. on. We'll get clothes, a coyote, and then supplies. Some ointment too. Now you did collect like the riot gear. Mm-hmm. So you yeah. have that. Um, I think just Kevin trying. got his weapon. Weapons, River. I'm guessing you would have gotten your weapons back. I've got the AK. Uh, Kevin has the bullets. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you went back to clean out your locker, I figured you got all the whatever you brought with you. Oh, I didn't have any weapons before. Oh, that. okay. Yeah, then you only have an AK. And I've yeah, got I just I just had a bag of fungus. Because I gotcha. grabbed Charlie's shit, the hockey stick, the spear, spear. Yeah. the spear I did not grab. Okay, you didn't grab the hockey stick. She had the uh, possum maze, right? Yep, she did. And her all of her belongings. Okay. Right, well, I'll. Uh... Oh wait, I did have that old hunting rifle. Nice. Okay. It only had like three bullets in it, I think. Okay. So as you guys meander your way over towards the bazaar, that is where we're going to call it. So thanks for tuning in. Check us out next time. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, and Twitch at Botch Podcast. This episode of Botch was brought to you by the Patreon producers, His Lord of Majesty, Big Jim, The Nuck, Lord Chronic, Skinner, God King, Shanda Panda, Bmail, Zuchari, Gamers Galaxy, Disgruntled Furniture, Bread 2287, and Sapper Supreme. You want to support us? You can do so in many, many ways. You can go on over to paypal.com slash botchpodcast and leave us a one-time donation. You can go to botchpodcast.com slash store and check out some of the merch we got. You can go to freedomvalleyhorsepace.com, dickblood.me, dickblood.com, or patreon.com slash botchpodcast and support us where you can financially over on Patreon. I thought it was dickblood.club. What'd I say? Calm. 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 Oh, shit. Let me do that one again. 
Uh, we have an iTunes review. Yeah. Um, but I don't have my phone on me. Let's pull it up. Ready? You can follow us on... Um, you can go to... Dig, uh, what was it? If you want to support us. If you want to support us financially, you can do so over at... FreedomValleyHorsePace.com DickBlood.me DickBlood.club Or just simply Patreon.com Slash Botch Podcast And support where you can Three dollars gets you into the Discord Five dollars gets you Ad free episodes And Patreon exclusive audio If you can't do it financially But still want to support us The best way to go to Any goddamn podcatcher that you have Spotify, or Apple Podcasts, and leave us a five-star review. Like our newest five-star. <laughs> you have an iPhone? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Give me your phone, please. Oh, oh, okay. oh, Thank you. Oh, make work. Make work good. M- make work good, Daddy. Stall. Touchscreen good. Vamp. Vamp? Somebody vamp! What does that mean? Still time still vampire. Oh, okay. Become bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> is that how I become a vampire? I just have to be bisexual? Vamp isn't because he's a vampire. It's because he's bisexual. Uh, but he also is a vampire. Okay. Bisexuality about- is out now. It's all about being pain. <clears throat> okay. What about the uh, glitter? How much glitter do I need? I, I will I pain will pain. die before I fuck a goat. You cannot make me pansexual. <laughs> He's just a half goat. Right. True. <laughs> it's just, a, it's just half, half a goat. The bottom half, yeah. Well, okay. Where all the fucking happens. Yeah, you can do the top stuff. <laughs> you got a little that's, hairy handy. That's not fucking, that's foreplay. Okay, fuck his mouth, I don't care. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> you do you, boo. Somebody else do me. <laughs> I'm not desperate. Like our newest five-star review. Mama Beans, 26. A papers... 0404 2022. A propers handbook. This podcast is basically the blueprint... (laughs) This podcast is basically the blueprint for what the zombie apocalypse will be like. I have learned all the things I will need to survive. Jesus Christ, I can't read today. I have learned all of the things I will need and relationships that I must build in order to survive. The stories have obviously taken meticulous planning and thought. The end is nigh, sheeple. Get on botched. Get on board with botched and be (laughs) prepared. (laughs) None of that's true. These people are the funniest people on the planet and make me laugh hard. Viva la pibas. Viva la pibas. Thank you to Gozer for intro and outro music. Thank you to our real album art by Emma Swan. Okay. Uh, thank you to Gozer for intro and outro music. More of them over at tiny.cc slash Gozer. Thank you to Emily Swan for her album art. You can find her all over the internet at a swan named Emily. Oh. And as always... Um, when... Your Lutheran Garden Club party member is gaslighting you, and your sundowning grandpa is bogarting the weed. Scream botched, and we'll pass that shit. I bet you voted for the Dukakis. <laughs> See, that's right there! <laughs> what? Dukakis? <laughs> Everybody here in chat, stick around. We're taking a break. We'll be back with a second episode. <laughs> I voted for Dukakis. Fucking Dukakis. <laughs> I'm done, T. All right. <laughs> Pizza! Pizza <laughs> pie! Pizza pie! Jesus Christ! A pizza pie! And more pizza! <sighs> pizza pie! Hey people, I'll be gone here in a second. I just need to save the episode. Dennis, are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the audience. Okay. Because I haven't switched off yet. <laughs> yeah, I saw that you hadn't switched off yet, so I was like, should I leave? No, I'm doing it now. We'll be on break. Be back soon. Beep-a-doop-a-boop. <laughs>